Make the Aquila. The Emperor protects. Indeed, the Emperor protects. His imperious booming voice repeats your call and the rest follows suit. Malice sent me here for your head. However, I have no desire to cause you harm. The Commissar lets out a contemptuous laugh and nods approvingly, uh, approvingly at you. That scaled miscreant has long since wanted me dead. He craves my soldiers. He forced us from our base to this perilous place. But he will pay for his scheme soon once my plan is set in motion. It is a disgrace to serve one such as he. You ought to join our ranks instead. Together we will break out of this accursed city. What is your escape plan? It doesn't involve getting this thing out of my head. The Commissar's speech is brisk and energetic. Some of our own have captured a small Xenos ship that was moored for repairs at a remote, unused dock. They eliminated the crew quietly, but the pi uh, left the pilot alive to sail the ship back to real space. We can get to the dock through a dimensional portal located at our old base. Regrettably, Malice and the Shriekers drove us out and took over the base, so the first order of business will be to confront him there. I propose you take him by surprise and deliver the first strike. We will support the attack from the outside. Logic failed. The Commissar's plan is bold, and the odds of succeeding are bleak. However, it seems improbable that anyone in Kamarag is prepared for such decisive covert action from the city's prisoners, so the Commissar and his people have the element of surprise on their side. Who are the people under your command? The core of my unit is composed of prisoners from various Atra Militarum regiments and a number of planetary guards. They form the assault squad that went on to the special operation under Sergeant v Vijasti's command. The rest are common people who had the misfortune of being captured by Xenos. Serfs, nobility, administrative clerks, technomats, void workers, monks, anyone who found the courage to take up arms. The only kinds you won't find here are heretics, lawbreakers, and cowards. How have you managed to accomplish so much down here? Every morsel of intelligence we have acquired and every step of progress we have made was paid for in blood and pain. The information about the dying cabal that dreads entering the docks of its enemies and instead moors in an abandoned area was forced out of captive Xenos. The knowledge of the portal was brought in exchange for one half of all the weapons we had stockpiled, and taking that ship cost us several lives, each of which was worth more than the whole blasted city. I shall join you. He laughs and exclaims approvingly, My brothers and sisters in arms, a new fighter has joined our ranks. The Emperor's grace is with us. I require medical assistance. He examines you critically. You do not look too badly injured, and we are suffering from a severe shortage of medical supplies. Better to save what we have for critical situations. There's a worm in my head! Look at the Commissar. One might think that the archetypical Commissars from the Imperial Guard propaganda posters are all life drawings of this man. He has a large, powerful jaw, his eyes are so hard and fearless, and the small scar over his brow adds a certain rugged charm to his features. His coat, though worn, has been diligently cleaned and mended, and the skull on the tall cap has been polished to a shine. Okay. A makeshift tequila looks somewhat pitiful, but the evident diligence and passion that went into its creation speaks of the piety of its makers. That's supposed to be an tequila? Oh boy. There okay. Will be no peace in my wake. Demolition 10%. What is this? The low vibration that permeates this space is the death throes of atoms becoming nothing. Oh, one oh, step at a time out. amidst the madness. Kill him? Kill the commissar? No! Demolition zero. Oh my god. Alright, so there's a loot back there, but I need demolition skill to get to it, which I don't have. Hmm, what lies beyond? And over here, there's a thing. Oh, there's Abelard. Oh, no, I need athletics to get to Abelard? All right, well, dude, we might have to save scum this. In the past, whenever I failed an athletics check, I got a debuff that only went away when we got back to the void ship, which I can't do right now. Hmm, a mere setback. Okay, we did make it. Call for my secretary. Where is my dress tunic? I will not allow such bedlam aboard a ship under my command. You can barely recognize your loyal Seneschal Versarian, Abelard of Versarian, in this pitiful hunchback figure. His officer's bearing, his broad shoulders, his direct and piercing gaze, all gone without a trace. What you see before you is a decrepit, quivering old man rummaging through malodorous refuse and bumbling under his breath. It takes you a second to make sense of his hoarse lisp. Quith 
Quatharinum love white amasecond fruits. Of course, love. The children are making mischief again. Quatharina, where are you? The old man's frail voice is laden with tenderness and longing. Seneschal, this is your Lord Captain speaking. Oh, Quatharina. He laughs faintly and immediately launches into a coughing fit. Deep lines run across his face and a blurry film of cataract clouds his eyes. The drive stems are at it again. Another council session. Another appeal to the logitums. They will never be satisfied, love, until they make us and our children disappear. Perhaps we should just give in. You always say that Dargonus is not your home, love. He is looking past you at someone only he can see. There is a timid smile on his trembling lips. Would you like that, love? Would you rather leave? Leave it all behind and go somewhere far away. Away from our to toils. Persuasion. No, Abelard. Your family is not here and they are waiting for you. Success! Family. Abelard flinches. But Quarinthum. Good morning, afternoon, and Mucklock and chat. Mucklock dancing, Mucklock hey, dancing. Good morning, thank you. But Quar Quatharina, you are my family, and you are dead. He shakes his head as if waking from sleep, slaps himself on the cheeks, and looks up at you. Muck von Luck, apologies. That is to say, Lord Captain. With a groan, Abelard tries to straighten his hunched back. Thank the God Emperor. Death has not found you yet. Then again, given the circumstances, it may be for the worst. Where are the others? I have not the faintest idea, your lordship. All I could say is I have managed to survive down here. The others stand a chance, too. There were no weaklings in your retinue. Except yearly yet. What happened to you? He lets out an old man's cough. That thrice-blasted Xenos simply chucked me aside like a pile of rubbish. I went to look for you or for help, and I ended up here. This is where it found me, that thing. Memory fails me. All I can remember is bits and pieces, the needles. It pumped something out of me, and it pumps something in. I seem to be in one piece, except that creature. He tries to wipe his stained coat with a trembling hand. How should I put this? Its needles siphoned the strength out of me. I feel older by a good decade or two. He touches his face and exclaims in surprise. My word, I think I am older. Could be why I started seeing things. I never thought I'd live long enough to go senile. What was the thing that attacked you? He shudders. A spawn of nightmares. So ghastly my mind refuses to picture a clear image of it. Nothing but meat, metal, and many, many needles. It feasted on me, on my very soul. It would have devoured me whole if it hadn't gorged itself on other prey before me. Who is Quatharina? He gives you a tense, embarrassed look. My late wife, Lord Captain. I think in the time I wandered around here, my sanity may have suffered. For a time, I hope. It appears my mind can no longer stomach the kind of horrors this place has to offer. I saw her by my side. I saw a different time and a different place. I, for one, have had enough of this heap of filth. It's time to move on, Abelard. I cannot agree more, Lord Captain. I serve House von Valencius. He salutes you with a shaking hand, and a ghost of his former expression returns to his wrinkled face. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's got no gear at all. He is absolutely getting the great sword. Let's see, that's 35%. Okay, we have no heavy armor, so he's going to have to take that. That's it. That's all we got. All right. They will see. Looking at the revolting oh, yes. puddle of ichor that reeks they of suffering, you can barely make out what remains see. of the bones of some unfortunate soul that appear to have been digested and regurgitated. Uh, Abelard has stolen time. The anomalies of the mangled sector have stolen Abelard's health and vigor and aged him several decades. Oh my god. As indicated by the bloody trail, a body was recently dragged through here. Can't open that. Okay. Wait. Oh. Curiosity. Who thought that was a good idea? Sings in my veins. Well, now athletics checks are easy. Because we got him back. Alright, to the streets of the chasm. So I go back to the snake guy and try to stab him in the back, I think. Yo, Mucker Chad. Hey, Seiko. Bluebell Hylian, I see y'all. You have a what in your head? They put a slug thing in my head. 
that was making me hallucinate. And we resisted it, but it's dying and it's poisoning us as it dies. What the heck? Y'all see the angel lady? I don't know what that was. Patience! My nerves uh, are Let's see. Alright, so I need to go. Is it the pit? Yeah, I think that's where it came from. Isn't that just BG3? Yeah, we made that joke earlier. <laughs> but this one uh, only lasts for like a day and then it dies. But as it's dying, it's like decomposing no and leaking poison way. into our body. Makes me think of Sister Battle. The Sister Battle wasn't with me on this group because I was required to bring Yearlyette. So I swapped her with Yearlyette and then Yearlyette betrayed us. Dude, every time someone betrays us, I just like, I'm like, muck you, you can't, you can't stay with me anymore. And then I make like a custom character join the party that has the same skills, but their name is like, you know, Heinrichs, but loyal. I'm just gonna have a full silent party of custom characters by the end of this. In this tapestry of a world, uh, I quick save. Well, why is Malice dead. behind a force field? That's concerning. Humanling, relax with us. Take a stimulant and enjoy yourself. The Commissar says hello. The two humanlings have plotted against me. How predictable. Shriekers, kill the humanling slowly. I want to enjoy his torment. Let's see how to dismember you properly. Fear me, monkey. What is this music? Hold on. All right, let's see how this goes. Schemes within schemes. There's a lot of enemies here. I will do my duty. Yeah, I hope the uh, yeah. <laughs> our friends get here quick. Let's see. Our right, regen. A genius at work. Taunt. Indeed. Defensive stance. At Wall of rockery. That's all you can reach right now. Victory Endure. is imminent. And duty go hand in hand. Ah, shooting me, what? What? I taunted you. What if... Regen. That less AP thing is really bothersome. Kid thought. Ooh, another scar to my collection. Yeah, that's not good. At your back and call. Force distraction. I hope this works. Main system. Wall of rockery. Defensive stance. <sighs> my ears are ringing. We managed to make a clog. Okay, as long as we can get the big guy off of Muck, we got a chance. Because we've got Abelard clogging the path. To battle my comrades in arms! Nice, backup's here. To the heretics! Alright. Schemes within schemes. It will be done. Okay, we got regen on both of us. I think I'll get hit with an attack of opportunity if I back up. Let's see. So I just need to use non. Hmm. Mm, 
just gonna keep putting stacks of buffs on him. I need to just not use um, offensive stuff because that triggers the tax of opportunity. Indeed. It will be done. Taunt everything. <laughs> Commissar, hurry up! You pay for this in blood. Man, Abelard might have been aged 20 years. He's still holding his own, though. Step by step, I lead. Uh, I knew that would hurt, but it's done. All right. Let's see. Ignite that one. Schemes within schemes. Um, I'm not in range of that. Shame. All right, force distraction. No. Someone else can do this. Victory is imminent. Taunts. Endure. At your back and call. Indeed. Keep taunting. Your skill is lacking. Now, one form of damage Buck can do that's very reliable is set enemies on fire, which permanently poisons them. And then they start dying, and it really just does not stop. So I'm going to keep putting that on these guys that have a really high dodge chance to whittle them down. Let's see. At your back and call. Victory is imminent. It will be done. Oh, I think I just heard Abelard kill one. Camera moved too quick, though. Just a minor setback. Uh, uh, target. You will pay for this. Nice. Abelard just got a lot of hits in on those guys that have really high dodge chance. Okay. A genius. Within schemes, let's see. Hey, Chip. What if? At your beck and call. Indeed. <laughs> Ooh, good hit. <laughs> Ow. Our allies just shot through the enemy and hit me. Dude, the, the regeneration's helping quite a bit. There's the Commissar. Let's put regen Let's on the Commissar. See. Hi. What? Okay. Is it time for a chip break? Hold on. I'm getting yelled at, chat. I don't know if you guys could hear it. Seiko says, have you ever gotten error code 42 in Guild Wars 2? Uh, it does not ring a bell, sir, no. You know, if you don't have to redeem, pet the cat. I am petting the cat. I'm just gonna take your points. Last one. Flop. Okay. Ah. All right. He is subdued for a minute, but only a minute. Uh, let's see. A genius at work. 
It will be Keep done. taunting. Victory is imminent. At your back and call. Ow! Commissar, please! Dude, he shot through the snake, did more damage to me than him. I healed you. That was not necessary. Ah, dang it. Let's see. Rockery to get temp health on me so I can survive another commissar attack. Idiot. What if? Indeed, I will do my duty. God, Commissar, please. Dude, I feel like this would have been a lot worse if the two people I had were not my best healer and my best tank. Because, gosh, dang. Let's see. Victory is imminent. War is my muse. It will be done. Oh my gosh. Should have killed him when you had the chance. I don't know about that. Commissar. The Commissar's resolve is palpable. Victory, comrades. Duty beckons. Our allies are waiting on the other side of this strange rift. Let us not waste time. He's holding a strange Xeno device. The Commissar points it at the rift, presses a few buttons, and the roiling entropic energies die down, forming a stable portal. Are you coming with us? I will bring up the rear and make sure no one falls behind. You will lead the charge. Act as a shining example of duty and valor. This sounds like another trap. What exactly awaits us on the other side? Loyal comrades and a stolen escort ship with a pilot taken hostage. It will take us back to real space where Emperor willing we will send out a distress call and be saved. By his grace may this turn out to be true. His voice is dull and lifeless. Onward. That's a lot of XP. Uh, the Commissar raises his voice and shouts triumphantly. The Emperor is watching! Let us not falter under his gaze. I'm making tea, what did I miss? An epic battle where I fought against the enemy and my own teammates. It was basically like Guild Wars 2 PvP. Let's see, we leveled up. Uh, wait, what? Grand Strategist? What? Wait, that was we- Hold on a sec. Did you guys see that? It said Grand Strategist for a second. Neither of these people are Grand Strategists. Whose level up was that? Okay. Toughness. Um... Coercion. Like, where am I? What year is it? Mm. It's funny that I've been... I didn't really realize that Medicaid was an int skill. It's just that he started with decent Medicaid, so I just kept leveling it on him. And he has, like, no int for that. Equip better items? I don't know that I have better items. I've just got a bunch of junk I looted. <sighs> Press any key. Where's the any key? Is he gonna drop me into like an arena? Or back into like a prison?
Rage of the Arena. The moment you cross the portal, you realize that something is amiss. The thousands of Drukhari all around you, the towering bulk of abnormality, bloated muscle whose face is hidden behind a black mask, none of it fits the Commissar's description of a quiet duck. You have brought good meat. You've done well, Commissar. Oh, god dang it. I was hoping it was an accident. The creature's guttural voice emanates menace. The Commissar has turned out to be yet another traitor. I believe I am starting to see how this game is played. It's alright, you won't be so gullible next time. Oh wait, there won't be a next time. He makes no effort to conceal the sarcastic mockery in his voice. Farewell, comrades. Deceiving, manipulating, and nudging you toward your death has been an honor and a pleasure. He jumps into the closing portal before anyone gets a chance to stop him. Satisfied cackling booms from behind the monster's black mask. Foolish meat. Falls to the same trick every time. Here's what happens to you now. They are about to unleash fighters and beasts that will seek to eviscerate you. So try to survive until the end of the fight, mate. No one is expecting more from you. I've got a... There's a thought I'm having right now, chat. So, we haven't met this guy yet. And I've been told by chat, you meet him in chapter 3. You didn't miss him. I'm, I'm reminded of that Avengers movie. Uh, actually, wait, was it a... I think it was one of the um, Thor movies where they find the Hulk in an arena. I am predicting that we're going to find this dude in one of these arenas. No, I do not know that. No, I'm not asking for spoilers. I'm just, uh, I'm just talking. What is this place? The gladiatorial arena of the Cult of the Fatal Thirst. This is where masters come for a new youth and where pathetic meat from the chasm is brought to die. What will I receive should I emerge victorious? The creature leans down to get a better look at you then says acerbically, your life, but do not concern yourself. You will not win. Give the monster a vicious smile. Are you offering me a chance to skin a few of your friends? I can hardly wait. You're amusing. Overconfident fools like you always die first. Off with you, meat. Rejoice, Spire Dwellers, for I've come to slake your fatal thirst. May the vicious hunt commence today. Kakeros, my wild hounds will enter the arena and taste the blood of its wretched challengers. Bathe your souls in their suffering. May your guesses at whether the prey can overpower the predators. I hope I don't have to fight those. Those things are awful. They, they have a, what is it called, phase shift? Every other hit does zero to them. Kakeros, if you're looking for more refined entertainment, watch the ousted Dracon of the Reaving Tempest fight for his life against the glorious champions of the arena, the Bloodstained Proselytes. What? If your soul is so hardened that only the triumph of violence can soften its scars, enjoy the massacre of the fearsome flesh gorger. Today we will try to kill him again. Is that him? I think that could be him. <laughs> He's a big boy. What is that thing? What was that thing? <laughs> oh my god. Is that all? Will you just give me your pet gestures? Don't be offended if I break your playthings, Cake Ross. Let the fatal thirst be quenched! 
The world suddenly loses strength and certainty. Everything around you looks like a decoration and a sham. Horror constricts your chest. This is a really bad time for a mental breakdown. <laughs> 